Got a 50 year old male, he's currently stuck under the second axle of an articulated truck. What's this chap's name? Hayward. Okay, and he went under the wheel? Yes. So this gentleman is laying on his front side. Can we just jump? Is he awake? Yes, he is. And what's injured? So we believe the right humerus fracture, and we're concerned about this angulated leg as well. Guys, who's in charge of fire and rescue? Yeah, I'm in charge of the operation. London's Air Ambulance is a charity. We respond to the most severely injured patients across London. There's always pressure to get the patient treated on scene and to hospital quickly. There is a risk that as we lift the vehicle, we could fall onto him or us. So we have an incident response officer Hello, mate. who's coordinating the scene. So what's the plan? You're going to lift it and then we're yeah, going to... Yeah, the airbag under there. Yeah. Lift it. He's You're going to about 29 tonne, mate. OK. Can I just squeeze past the chair? No, is that all right? Hey, Wand. I'm Cosmo. I'm one of the doctors. Is his pain bad? Where? This arm here? Yes. And his leg, yeah? OK. As a patient, if you don't know what's happening and no one can explain that to you in your own language, that would be terrifying. People are often away from their family here. It's really important that I don't just sedate or give strong analgesia to Paiwan under the vehicle before we can physically get him out from underneath because sedation has side effects and can sometimes go wrong. Just in terms of time, yep. he we clearly could get worse, so he kind of needs to be out within the next five or ten. We're just going to get another airbag. I'll leave that with you. The second you're ready, say we're good to go and we have to go for it, OK? There's always the possibility that we may have internal bleeding that we don't yet know about, and he's therefore at risk of dying on scene. How much longer do you guys think? Oh, I just need to time this with what we're doing. We're ready. Yeah. We're ready. We can start lifting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cosmo. Cosmo, they're ready. Okay, so let's get the lift on. You then we give him the one of my dad's. Ah. We give the ketamine. We see he's comfy and we slide out my face. Let's go forward. Yeah. Okay. Help me out now, guys. Keep going, keep going. Almost keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Okay, right. stop there, stop there. So he's breathing. Well done, guys. Good job. I'm concerned that he's got multiple things which are going to need to be treated by a major trauma team. We need to splint his horribly broken femur, and he could well have a broken pelvis. Ready, brace, lift. Hi, guys, it's Cosmo with HEMS. I've just got a pre alert for you. We're going to go. I have the privilege to help people when they are terrified. OK, so this is Paywand. Any family? Not that I know of. I always want them to know that they're going to be looked after. Uh, orthopaedic injuries are a right mid-shaft humerus fracture. And then his lower limbs, he's got proximal fibula, distal fibula. Broken, 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 broken. This is going to be a few operations. It's going to take some time for you to recover. Oh, yeah. How long? Six to 12 months, because it's lots of big injuries. Where's your family? Nobody, no, I'm here. We'll take good care of you, OK? We'll look after you. The top end of the bone is effectively smashed into uh, several pieces. It's a very complex and lengthy operation. OK, stop. stop. Yeah, please. Everyone's nervous, even though we've done it a million times. How you will walk again is dramatically impeded if we don't get this correct within a millimetre. I think one or two screws into the GC. Yeah. yeah. The critical manoeuvre is to bring back the bits of bone where they belong. Who's that down mark there? Yeah. Let's get the plate, guys. And then hold them in place with plates and screws. Real, please. Hi, Paiwan. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm all right. Thank you very much. Paiwan, he was an RTA pedestrian, and um, he's got multiple uh, fractures that we've fixed. He's a 50-year-old pedestrian that was hit by a HGV lorry. He's done very well. He's on the route to recovery now. I think the team have been amazing at keeping him optimistic and focused on, on healing, and it won't be too long before Paiwan is fully weight-bearing again. With your family, which country? Iraq. Iraq, OK. Very far. He has not seen his relatives and family members. So what we are able to offer Paiwan is just understanding, just mm -hmm. talking to him. If you need something, tell me. 
Paiwan will now be focused on his rehab, strengthening the muscles around the joints. Uh, we're expecting him to make a full recovery. No, I'm all right. Just I know I'm lucky. I've been lucky. I'm lucky.